my screen time used to be. I mean, and keep in mind, like my phone is everything. I'm I'm sure. using yeah, yeah. it for I don't use a laptop that stays down here in the podcast yep. studio. So I'm using my phone for everything. Same. Twelve to sixteen hour day screen time yeah. would be pretty normal. Um lately, I think last week, my screen time was like thirty five minutes a day. That's awesome. <laughs> and that's I mean, but that's a like, little absurd. Yeah. I think that's unrealistic for some people, but even if it's just a couple hours, you know, yeah. that'd be great. No, but I think that's important though, because I feel like a lot of people are like, they might judge that scream time, but if you're running your business off of a phone, like it's so annoying to always have to be on my phone because of work or responding to emails, band stuff that we, I would love for mine to be 35 minutes. I want to, I want to structure it. That Do you know way. what yours is? Not offhand, but it's probably a, three four hours a day yeah that's great like even. That. that's great maybe maybe a little bit more I, when i'm home i try and i try and put my phone down and not look at it as much or not be in front of a screen and try and work on something um just because i i definitely fall into the the doom scrolling category where yeah, it's just so easy everybody. to lose an hour on instagram or whatever it is uh too many great dirt bike riders that i'm following that are doing <laughs> Moto all the inst- just insta eat up bangers, all of your time all the insta bangers for sure but I mean, it, it's a helpful tool, but it's so easy to get wrapped up in it as well. Yeah. Yeah. The step one for me, at least, was putting it or actually I don't bring it up to the bedroom at night. Mm. That was Genius. a big step. Yeah, that was a big step. And I know that's tough because some people have to wake up to alarms in the morning. But and sidebarring from that, something that I read in, in I think it's pronounced Emile Kou. He's French, so who knows how the heck they say it. <laughs> uh, he lived maybe a couple hundred years ago. He has a book. I probably have it over here somewhere. It's called Self Mastery um, Through Conscious Auto Suggestion. Okay. And conscious auto suggestion would be like the mantra that I said actually every day in every way. I'm getting better and better. Was him. Um, it's telling yourself things consciously to just download it into your subconscious. So it's yeah. just repeating things. What he taught, I think it was him, was that you could internally set your own alarm clock by telling yourself, I'm waking up at 6.30 a.m. Close your eyes and kind of get into a meditative state, which you can learn to do pretty quickly, and just tell yourself, I'm waking up, not I'm going to wake up. Yeah, I am. I am waking up at 6.30 a.m. and I'm wide awake at 6.30 a.m. I've been experimenting and try, not trying it in situations where I actually need it. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> but it is working oddly accurately. Yeah. It's amazing. So in the situations where I do need to kind of wake up, I'll set the alarm as a backstop somewhere. But I've been testing that and it's freaking working. But yeah, anyhow, uh, I don't bring the phone up to my bedroom. So I'm not on it that last hour, hour. before yeah. bed. And I don't, when I walk downstairs now in the morning, I, I stay away from that phone. So I'm not on it for the first hour, at I least like when I wake up. And that was the key. Cause now that's made me be more aware throughout the day of when I need to be avoiding it. Yeah. Where before that, when I was in that 12 to 15 hour screen time, those 10, 12 to 15 hour screen time days, that thing was in my pocket everywhere. And yeah. I always felt like it was vibrating, even though it wasn't. And I'm pulling the thing out and checking it just mm-hmm. out of habit. Um, it was, it wasn't good. Yeah. No, I, I definitely need to do that. It's funny because I'll like set my alarm, but I'm a naturally anxious person. But I always wake up before my alarm. Try so, yeah, try so that auto suggestion. I might, I might, have, to, see I might have to do that. I bet you it'll work. But yeah, I I try not to. I try to set like a little bit of a boundary too. With I, I don't like that you always have to be accessible at all times. I think that there should be times where it should just be family time and mm-hmm. there should be hours where you're not being able to be reached. Um, I do forget to text back though, which is which is terrible. So yeah, I know or it'll just probably, take yeah. me like a week. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. leave it on red, right? So yeah. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, it might take a while. But it's so it's so funny how that like I don't know, just changing the relationship with the phone is something I need to do a little bit better. But yeah, yeah, I think maybe part of it too is um, being content enough and understanding that it's not a rush. Where I think I was in such survival mode before that, especially owning your own business and. Yeah having being in a band is owning your own business. Yep. Uh, I thought that everything had to be taken care of and done right that second. Yes. So there were no boundaries. It was, I was, if something had to be done on my phone at midnight, I was working away on my phone where now it's like, 
it can wait until tomorrow. Oh, if yeah. it's 6.30 and I'm having dinner with Allie, like, I'm not going to pick up that phone. I'm not going to stress myself out and go on it afterward. I'll deal with it at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah, and that's how, that's and how it should be. Nobody's going to die. Yep. We'll all be okay. <laughs> it's uncomfortable yeah. at first. Speaking of uncomfortable, that, that takes a little while to get used to that. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, you can do so on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to send in your own video submission, you can join us in the Moto Academy family inside of the Moto Academy app by just going to themotoacademy.com. That's also where you can sign up for a class. Okay, guys. See you next episode.